And one question that remains unanswered is this. How many casualties did China suffer? Figures have been floating around. We've not reported because we could not confirm any of them. Beijing will not give a number. But Beijing is quick to contest reports, which do. Listen to this. China and India are currently resolving the issue through diplomatic and military channels. As for media reports, like for example an Indian official saying China had at least 40 deaths, I can responsibly say this is disinformation. The world is none the wiser. Disinformation, he says. China won't admit to deaths, let alone confirm how many there were. All that our sources have told us is this. China suffered more damage, lost more soldiers in the Galwan clash. That explains why they wouldn't want to disclose the figure. Here's another explanation. Cover-up is in the DNA of the Chinese Communist Party. The practice dates back to Mao's days and applies to both natural and man-made disasters. Let me give you an example. Between 1959 and 1961, there was a massive famine in China. Till date, China has not revealed the figures of how many people starved to death. The most recent cover-up was the Wuhan virus death toll. We reported extensively on this. China's numbers were widely contested. On the 17th of April, Beijing raised the death toll by 50%. The new tally stands at 3,869. Estimates say tens of thousands of people died in China, but the government would never admit to that. Well, in some rare instances, officials do admit to a cover-up, mostly at the lower level. Something like this happened in 2017. Two municipal governments in northeastern China admitted that they hid dozens of deaths during a flood. The flood was in 2012. Government websites praised their orderly relief work, leading to low casualties. They patted themselves on the back. But the truth came out, and five years later, officials in two provinces, uh, in two villages, Liao Yang and Anshan said that they had deliberately underreported the deaths. A similar story played out during the SARS outbreak. April 2003, China's health minister said there were only 22 cases of SARS in the country. Ten days later, his deputy said there were more than 300 confirmed cases and more than 400 suspected cases. The health minister was fired. A month later, China reported more than 5,000 cases and 275 deaths, not to mention global condemnation for hiding this outbreak. A doctor who exposed the government's SARS cover-up has been under house arrest. In 2008, a massive earthquake hit Sichuan. More than 68,000 people died. China hit the numbers. It took the government a full year to give the first official tally of victims in a school collapse. More than 5,000 students died. These figures were released days before the anniversary of the disaster. 18,000 people were declared missing. Critics said the data was meaningless because the government did not give details such as names, ages and places of death. Because cross-checking would reveal the truth. And that wouldn't reflect well on China's relief agencies. In fact, the list of cover-ups is a long one. Chinese officials deny reports of deaths at protests. For that matter, they deny reports of protests. On your screen is a headline from Hai Men in the Guangdong province. In 2011, angry locals surrounded government buildings. They blocked highways. The government said there were no deaths. This too has been contested. In 2010, the death toll from an earthquake was hidden. 2100 said the government. Reports said it touched 9,000. So here's a question. Why would a government hide the death toll from an earthquake? Earthquakes are not man-made and they cannot be a government's fault. And yet in China, there's a tendency to hide the damage. Why? Because local governments and officials are judged on the basis of how much good press they generate. Death is bad news, even in China. Large numbers of casualties in natural disasters or accidents hurt the career prospects of local officials, so they tend to under-report or hide figures. They try to prove that a region or a province prospered under their charge. And this breeds a culture of cover-ups. Today, if Xi Jinping wants the actual Wuhan virus death toll in China, chances are he will not get it. Provincial officials will not risk their promotion in the interest of truth.